when you said that you've been banged up in fall camp, I guess, just your thoughts, how you feeling? I feel good. I was full speed today, so just uh, doing everything I can. You playing on planes Saturday? Right? Yeah. Upper body, lower body. Yeah. Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about night games at the big house? Uh, I mean, it's just a different atmosphere, obviously. My personal favorite is the 12 o'clock, so. But, you know, it's good to mix in a few night games, get the atmosphere going more. You've been hyped up before, but pro probably never like you are right now in terms of the national landscape. People saying, like, no, you're the best. How do you kind of deal with that? Um, just the same thing I've always done. You know, I've always gotten praise. Uh, everyone on our team gets a lot of praise. Uh, our team gets a lot of praise. So just handling it like we have in the past and me personally just being humble and keeping my head down, just working as hard as I can every day. Does hearing it all make you more eager to go play games and show it on the field? Uh, I mean, it's all the same. Really not looking to prove like other people, um, right? Just proving this team, myself, and all my teammates right. You still live with KG? Uh, not right now, no. What can you tell us about Fresno's offensive line? Uh, I feel like they're just their base offense is kind of similar to us. They they do a little bit of everything, uh, a lot of downhill runs, um, good group. Um, yeah, we're ready for it. Fresno State was your first D1 offer, right? With yeah. Jordan Morris. Do you have any thoughts about that and just sort of the way how he came here and just the path, your, your path, how it ended up? Uh, yeah, I don't really got much on that, but yeah, it's just another game. You know, it has been hyped up quite a bit since spring ball. How, where, where has he made the biggest improvements, and how good can he be? Who? You know. Oh yeah, Eno's doing a, Eno. Eno's doing um, a lot of good stuff. I feel like he's going to be a, um, a player for us that you know is going to get a lot of snaps, and um, and I feel like he's ready to excel and uh, show what he's done this off season and the whole time he's been here. How did he handle that tr transition going from the outside to the inside? He handled it pretty good. You know, just got. I mean, he latched on to a lot of us older guys, the coaches, and really invested a lot of his time and um, and wanted a role um, inside. So that's what he chose to do. When Wink says you're banged up, does that mean you're not practicing? You're like you're not like limited. What, what does that mean? Yeah, I was just dealing with some stuff day to day. Conditioning wise, did you feel like you're ready to play? I know uh, you know Kenneth was on you the other day saying he was focusing on conditioning because you guys yeah. play a lot of snaps. Yeah, I mean we're always focused on that. Just. Trying to get as many plays, uh, play as many plays as we can.